Born in Italy, raised in London. It wasn't easy growing up where I grew up. There was a lot of struggle, a lot of setbacks and a lot of no's. But with a lot of hard work, dedication and belief, I managed to not be a product of my environment and get to where I am today. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do anything. Anything you set your mind to, you can achieve. Welcome to my life, the life of Calvin Bassey. We used to think having your own bedroom was, wow. People would probably be laughing when I'm saying it and think that's silly, but this is the reality I lived. Like, having your own bedroom was, was a big thing. I, I didn't have my own bedroom till I left to go play Leicester when I was 15, 16. Yeah, so that's how it was done. Hopefully I still remember. Hopefully I still remember where I'm going. Feels weird coming back. Oh shit, yeah it was. That's mad. Why does it look so small? Why does it look so, yeah I remember here. What? I'd never, I can't believe I fit in this chair. To be fair, I was never that big though. Whatever. I don't know, I, don't, I honestly don't know. <laughs> I ate too much one summer or something. I think it was this one. And we just did a sex education class or something in here. That's all I remember in this classroom because I remember thinking that's disgusting. Time flies. I think I was decent. I think I was, I was bright. I could be cheeky, you know. Like just, I like to enjoy, like just have fun. But I was just one of them kids, I was just naturally smart. So I just got the work done quick and then I got a bit bored in it because my work was done. Too smart. <laughs> Too smart for the class. <laughs> Miss Davis. Nah, I, she was, these two, Miss Williams as well, probably my favourites, man, because they just liked me. <laughs> they liked me. <laughs> they liked me. You me? Oh, it's too long. I was too young. Too young? Yeah. It was just, how was that? Was that that bad? I was all right, innit? I now must have been all right. Now we're good. Oh, yeah. we're good. Yeah. 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 It's Stratford, innit? Yeah, it's Stratford, yeah. innit? So, <laughs> you're used to the Stratford. You just all act like what you're doing Stratford, innit? You know, you'll get your knockbacks, but... You just take Keep it on going. the chin and carry on. Keep going. That's, what, that's, that's literally point. my career. I had, I had so many knockbacks, yeah. but I just kept going, and I think it was, it was important being around here. Do you see this? This made me. This is me, man. It used to look a bit better. But, yeah, man, this. Old cage, man, she. This is my happy place. I could be here on a Saturday from like, no exaggeration, probably like 12 to like eight and there was a shop around the corner, so you just go get a drink, or I'd, we just used to run home, get my, my cup, bottle of water, come back, play, play, play. I 
I went on trial to like Late in Orient twice, got rejected. I went on trial to Charlton, got rejected. I went to like some Crystal Palace thing. No, I was at Wolves and they was, they was like, they're not sure. I went, I went to play games in like crazy places like Fleetwood. I went to play a game against them. I remember I was on my way to one tr like Southampton Charles. Anywhere I could get a sniff of playing professional football, I went to and a lot, of, a lot of professional clubs said no before. I sent him to West Ham for six weeks trials. They refused him as well, didn't sign. He went to Barnet FC, didn't sign. And then, that, but this is in the process from 12 to 15. They just said things like, oh, you're not ready. Um, you're not good enough. We have someone like you. We have someone similar. And it's just like, you know, <laughs> hearing that, them things, you just want to sort of just quit and just say, you know what, I'd, I don't want to go anymore. But I forced myself to not let, have a option B. And then when you were 16, you went to Leicester City for one game. And then you done really well in that game. And yeah, then they decided to sign you. And I was so, but I was like, oh God, thank you. Like, I'm not going to waste this. I'm going to do everything I can to become a professional. Like, I've got one step in through the door. I need to get both steps in. And yeah, I was, from then it was just hard work. I was cute. No, was I not? Was I not? The thing I'd say about Calvin is because whilst obviously you're young and you want to have fun, you want to go parties and that, Calvin, if it wasn't football, Calvin was at home. He would leave the house 9 a.m. He won't come back to about 9 p.m. the same day. And what's he been doing? Playing football. But I think Calvin has been consistent since like young till now. Like he's been the same. When I went to uni and stuff, because I'm a bit older than you lot, Calvin was like, oh, I'm going to do this football thing, I'm going to do this football thing. And at first, I didn't really see any future in football. And when he signed for, what, Leicester, and he came back, I was like, Calvin, like, you've actually kind of made it. It will show the, 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 like, the determination in you and the dedication, because when you did get your opportunity, he, he went smashed off. it, do you know what I mean? He went off, yeah. So, definitely. Just go to show the type of person you are, really. Honestly, I'm proud of you. Like, you don't understand what you do for us all the time. As much as you annoy me, but like, honestly, I wouldn't change you for the world. Like, you're very, very supportive. Love you, man. Love you do. My family, my family. Oh, it's, it's crazy. Let me see you, let me see you. This one. Oh. Look at me. I was always the smartest looking one. Look at me. I'm smart. My teeth always intact. I didn't have no gap teeth like you, man. <laughs> <laughs> My thing's always been, you get me? This picture represents our unity and us being together and nothing will break us um, and yeah. the love we have for each other, innit? Cause I don't, to me, as much as we're cousins, I don't see you guys as my cousins, I see you lot as my brothers. That's what I was saying Like, to that's you know? the main thing. Like, yeah. I don't think blood could have made us any closer yeah. than where it is now. Yeah. You definitely not are my brothers. 100%. Yeah, screw your face just a bit more. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> My broski. I love man. So that's actually my old house. This one here. That's where I used to live. I don't like to say it, but I felt I feel like sometimes it was it was like a sort of wanted football to happen so bad because I knew it could give my family a better life and experience things I might not have been able to experience if it wasn't for football, like, you know, um, like, taking the family on a family holiday and stuff like that. Like, if you went on, like, regular family holidays, you, you were seen as, like, an upper-class person, do you know what I mean? And, like, for some people, they might, they might think this is silly, but for us, it... It's like, it's like a big thing, do you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't have stamps in my passport till I started sort of playing football. My family holiday was probably moving to England. Look at the boys. 
Look at this guy! Look at this! Mine's gone! 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 Yeah. I didn't know you had that one as well. I'm tatted up now, bro. So, what, up now. what, you got the other side? Yeah. What, all of this stuff, everything, bro. First aid, let's just get this out the way, innit? Who was the best when we were younger? Just be real. Naturally, naturally, naturally. Naturally, yeah, yeah. Naturally. Your left foot. Naturally. No, but but Wait, let's what? let's Wait, talk. What? No, don't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> naturally. I think it was me. I was the best. drifting through guys. Guys yeah. couldn't keep up. Ruben had a good left foot still. So he had a good left foot. What did he have? Kick I'd feet, bruv. Are you Kick dumb? Run, don't yeah. disrespect the thing, bruv. <laughs> well, All right, let's not good. forget. That one day he woke up. One day he woke up. Right footed the day before. The next day he woke up. He was left footed. Remember that? These guys, bro. Remember that? I don't know how you done that. Bro, I was always both footed, didn't it? Bro, you didn't know which way I was gonna go. It's good times, man. It's good times, man. I I go on here, crossbar, man. That is a shit attempt, bro. I do do it properly, then. Oh, that was all right. That is poor, bro. Flat, bro. You know the rules, man. You know the rules, man. No, but... <laughs> you missed, you violated. You violated, you violated, you violated. You violated. <laughs> I think, like, obviously where we're from helped us a lot being thick-skinned. Like, Getting like being able to adjust to to rejection, rejection, and when we were going Dartford, used to leave what time, get to Dartford train. I used to get home at like 11, 12, and I've got school the next day and do the same thing again. Like, do you know what I'm saying? We, but this is what we had to do to look for an opportunity somewhere. And obviously from Dartford, I didn't even get signed. So imagine that, like, like, what was that a waste of my time? Do you know what I'm saying? I think but it was one of them think it was. I, I, we all knew that there was always going to be a risk in it. We always knew there was going to be a risk. However, we knew that if this risk pays off, you know what I'm saying, we're laughing. You know what I'm saying? So it was one of them ones that the yeah. risk, the reward is greater than the risk. Yeah, 100%. So we just took the risk anyway. Ooh. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? It was here. It was here. You don't understand. That was a shit. You don't Bro, you don't are you dumb? Are you dumb? He went like this. That's what he did. Are you dumb? Obviously, there's a lot of gang activity around here, and like obviously, it's easy to get sucked into that sort of that life and and what's going on there. And you have to be like strong-minded and and not go, fall into it. I've lost some people I went to school with um, due to obviously crime and stuff like that. Um, and I know people who have who have took a different path. I was able to like just keep my, my myself away from all of that, and I was always I was always football. I always tried to be football-minded and focused. To even get the opportunity of a club of this status and this magnitude looking at you, it's, it's incredible. And I just love football. I love winning. Just about heart. Who's ready to to, to give 100% for the badge? And you gotta go in there and be prepared to fight. And I think that's the main thing. Just making sure you're ready to go into war and you're ready to, to put all that stake for them three points. Bessie heeft hem dan voor een inknik en dat doet hij ook. Dan wordt Bessie zich de voor. Buitenkant Bessie. Nu Klaassen en 2-1. Bessie. That's one by Bessie. Bessie uses his excellent strength to get it back. Really well done from Calvin Bassi. Pressure from Bassi. Won it easily. We are at Draper's Field. This is all, um, everything started for Calvin when he joined us when he was 12 years old. I remember him very well being athletic, quick, but Technique not the best. If we didn't have a game, he used to call me and say, Carlos, can we go for one-on-ones? And I used to take him one-on-ones all the time, all the time, just work on his technique because he knew for him to get to the next level, he needed to work on technique. 
And that group, the under 16 group, they want to win everything in England. We were the champions of England in futsal, for example. He knew in his head, he knew what he wanted to achieve. By being that person, he achieved what he wanted. I'm really proud of Calvin for what he has achieved. And I know you will, be, you will achieve more in the future. I know that. I know that. Oh, I hated this, by the way. I, some, some monkey frame, like climbing and stuff. Ooh, what am I doing that for? I hated that. I didn't like that. That wasn't, that was, that wasn't fun to me. That tree, I tried to run up, run up it and do a backflip. Yeah, I know. I was, I was mad. You, I was a mad, I was a mad kid. I was a mad kid. We used to have a um, um, sports day. There was this boy. I think his name was Amani, and he was rapid. Like he was so quick, and he'd beat me every single time. Obviously, I, I was, I wasn't having it. I hate losing, and I beat him on sports day, and I was so happy. I was like, what? Oh. I was like, the fastest in the school, I always wanted to win. I complained a bit more back then. Now I don't think, I don't complain that much, but back then I used to be like a little baby, like I used to soak a lot, but yeah, I, I always wanted to win. Oh, I don't know. I got a funny story. I'm not saying this story, but yeah, it's a funny story. No, nah, I can't say this story. But I had like a, it was like a little girlfriend thing. I remember there was, there was tables here, and it's either, there was one here and one there. I must have been sitting like there, and they made me move here, because there was a space right there in between. She was here, and there was a space here, and someone else was there. And I remember thinking, nah, what are these lot doing, man? They're trying to set me up. So, yeah, but I did it anyways, innit? You see what? I did it anyways, aim for the stars. <laughs> Aim for the start. I just do things with no thought. I just, I, I used to love to try things, and I, I, I think I still do. Like, like why set your standards low? Do you know what I'm saying? If you, if you dream big and you might not reach that, you might still be at a good level. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I think it's important to dream big. <laughs> they need to update the uniform. I'm, um, Tell them they need to update the uniform. It's been too long. <laughs> oh my day. I just think it's, a, it's an amazing club. So much history. I think when you come to a club as big as Ajax, there's always expectation as well. And I think it's good to, to have a bar, and there's a very high bar here to, to, to do well, and I think that, that's what you want. And we, we expect, and we want to do well as well, so we expect more from each other. As much as you're a football player, you're a human being as well. We're not robots, like, you know, we're not perfect. You're not, we're not going to have a perfect game every game, but, you know, it's, it's, it's trying to be able to, to switch off from when it's social life and when you get onto that pitch, trying to do the job, no matter how you feel and stuff like that. So, yeah, of course, it's, it's always hard, but I wouldn't say it's, it's, it's too hard. I've learned for me understanding the game and purpose for every action I do. So why I pass the ball to him or why I pass the ball there or why am I driving with the ball. And the, the trainer always like tests us and asks us like why did you pass the ball there? And sometimes like you're just like, oh, like 
because he's open, he's free, and then you might be like, no, you shouldn't have passed the ball. Um, it's like playing with your brains. Yeah, it's playing. Yeah, it's more tactical as well. And he'll just ask us like, oh, what, what do you think of your position? just like making us understand where we should be and um, what we should do when we have the ball and stuff like that and I think it's very good like because you learn a lot you learn a lot 100% I don't know until people tell me and like your cousin's paying for hires do you know what that means I'm just like yeah is, is it that yeah. I'm like, yeah you know I'm proud of myself I, I got somebody I know from Ajax my brother's playing in the Ajax stage, like he's playing for Ajax, like it's just mental. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? All the legends that's played for Ajax is crazy. Like the, the the people that have come through Ajax is is staying in it. I mean, your your favourite Luis Suarez for Liverpool, he come through there. That. So that's what I'm proud of you. You better make sure you make me proud of that team, okay? You better make sure because you, you got a lot of big shoes to fill. I'm, yeah. I'm coming tomorrow. I'm coming to London tomorrow. Yes, sir. 9 p.m. Yeah, 9 p.m. Yeah, yeah. Link up, link up, link up, link up. Right. See you tomorrow. Peace, peace. Love, peace. love, 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 love. Entering average speed check zone. Should I close this or? No, no. I want to understand and adapt to the Ajax style, adopt the Ajax style more. I think that's probably what, what I would say. Adopt the Ajax style more because I think you see and sometimes in in <laughs> midfield and stuff like that and and all my friends say what well, like how's he there how's he there but I'm like he makes it work for us like I can't explain how he does it but he makes it work but um, yeah I think adopt the Ajax style more that would be the thing for me. No one could ever tell me it's not possible because all things are possible. And I always say all things are possible with God, so I can, I can do anything as long as I set my mind to it.